Hey there, Chris Wells here, and today I'm going to be talking about punching in or cutting into your frame. Not just a staple of YouTubers shooting on a single camera, but also filmmakers like David Fincher, who often films in a higher resolution, i.e. the size of his image, in order to have that wiggle room to perfect the framing of his shots in post. So let's boot up Lightworks, and I'll show you how you can do it too. And here we are in Lightworks, and I've got some awesome footage to show you today. So let me just double click on this, and here we go. We've got this cool shot of a dude on a motorbike in the forest, looking all pretty cool. Real nice little shot here. But if I pause it and go to this little knobbly bit right here, that's what I'm going to call it. I don't know what you would call it. Little, but No, little knobbly bit. You can drag this up and you get all of the metadata, i.e. all of the information about this video clip. Now, obviously, this was stock footage that I've got. But if we go down here, the only real information I need to worry about today is this video format. And this is showing that it is in fact shot in 6K, which is about 4,000 more than 1080p, normal HD. So this means that we actually, if our project is going to be only in 1080p, let's just say it's a HD YouTube video, then really we have a bit of wiggle room, we have a bit of headroom to play with when it comes to this video. So I'm just gonna drag this on. And what I can do now, so if we play this, there we go. And if we go to the metadata here, this on the right hand side, in fact, shows the metadata for this sequence. So at the minute, the playback format, this sequence is 1080p. And that's basically what we want. So if I click this, look, we can change to all of these other playback formats. But really today, I just want it to be 1080p. It's going to be just a HD video out on YouTube. And so it doesn't need to be any higher resolution for what I want it for. So I'm going to go up to effects and go to zoom, drag that onto the shot here. And now you'll see, I will be able to kind of zoom in. And because this is so high resolution, I'll actually have a fair bit of headroom to kind of reframe this shot. There we go. In fact, you can just drag this. I just want it to reframe like that. Maybe like that. There we go. So now we've got quite a nice closer shot. So let me just turn that off. There we go. That's it on the wide. That's it on the actual main footage. And here it is cropped in. So it does look a lot better. It's playing a little bit slower because obviously it's using an effect. So when I export it, it will look better. It's just my computer's going a bit like, ah, there's quite a lot of stuff going on. And that's okay. Now, that's just one way of doing it. Another way you can do it, and the way I prefer to do it, is if you click this three dots, remove, so we've gone back to the normal shot. We'll go up here to transform 3D. Drag that on, and this basically is similar controls, but with more options. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the Z here. There we go. I can crop in just the Y. Obviously, I don't get that little handy window, but what this also means That. And then I can use this part here. I get more rotation options. Let's just say I'm Kenneth Branagh filming Thor 1 and I want everything to be on a cool Dutch tilt. That will give me this option. So I filmed it. Oh no, I filmed it all normal. And oh, I wish I had a closer shot on a Dutch tilt. Well, bam, now I can because I've given myself that headroom by shooting this in extremely high quality or the footage is extremely high quality. And that means I can put on quite a cool little Dutch tilt. And obviously I've just chucked the footage on here, so, so let's just do just that. So we now have that. The other advantage is, let's say we want to cut to the closer shot and then cut back to the wide shot. I can just press C, go to the clip, remove the clip, play that, and there we go. We've got the close up and then the wide. It's like it's shot on two different cameras when actually it wasn't. We were just cropping in. Another way to do this, that is actually the better way of doing this, is if I just undo, I'm going to remove the effect, and this time I'm going to drag the effect onto a blank part of the timeline, and you'll see it's created a new track, an effect track. So I'll just drag this out, move this along, so it covers the whole clip. There we go. So now this this will have every effect that I put on this 
top level here. So let's zoom in again and add that cool little tilt. Obviously, Ooh. I probably would trim this shot down. Let's just keep it like this. There we go. So we've got the cool little shot here. And then what this means is if I drag this, let's say, to about here and then reduce this down. You'll see now we've got the wide and then it will go close up. This is also a helpful way if you're filming a music video and you want to do those cuts into the beat. So if I deactivate this track here and press C and C, let's just I'm going to delete that one. I can then drag this. Let's just C, drag that to wherever I want. Um, C drag that to wherever I want, activate the view again. Now we'll see, we've got the wide and then we can do some quick cuts to the close up and then wide again and then back to the close up and then wide again. And there we go. And obviously a key thing to note is that this was shot on a real high quality camera at a really high resolution. So it gives you that headroom. You can cut into pretty any footage how you want, but obviously you will lose the quality of your footage. So it's just dependent on the kind of thing you are looking to deliver. But there we go. That's essentially everything you need to know about punching into your footage to kind of alter your shots directly in Lightworks.